In this video, I will be solving problem set four, problem one, which is basically a, well, it is, it's a gray code, a conversion from gray code to, bi uh, from, sorry, from binary code to gray code, which is a standard uh, code conversion example. And essentially, what I'm going to be looking for is basically trying to create functions g3, g2, g1 in terms of these. And so here it says use as few gates as possible, and I may use any standard gate I want. So um, I'm going to start off with k-maps for this problem because I want, to, I want to try to find a minimal solution. And I'm going to look for anything interesting that I can maybe um, use to combine gates between uh, the different circuits or something like that. Um, and just work through that. So to begin, I'll basically just work uh, between these two uh, things and start with 4k-maps. And actually... Let's stop and pause and actually look at these to begin. So here I've got B3 and G3. If you notice, they're identical. Um, I don't really need a K-map to say that G3 is equal to B3. So I will just write that. Um, so problem one. By observation. G3 equals B3. And now, I've reduced my number KMF down to 3, and so I'm going to draw those. Sorry for this slow part of the video, where I don't really do all that much. Okay, so this will be G2, G1, G0, and my inputs will be B3, B2, B1, B0, and likewise. And I won't fully label these. Um, just to save time on this video. So I'll just do this one and we'll keep the same labeling for the remainder. So, if my binary input is 0, 0, 0, I'm going to have 0, 0, 0 come out. And then 0, 0, 1 is going to be 0, 0, 1. And then, so I'm only looking at these last three columns, just to keep it in mind. Um, hopefully these aren't all off the page. And then I've got 0, 1, 0 is going to be 0, 1, 1. So 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0 is here. So that's 0, 1, 1. And then 3 will be um, 0, 1, 0. Next up is this one, 0, zero 1, Zero, 0, so that's going to be 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, and then I've got 1, 1, 1, and then I've got 1, 0, 1, and just make sure I'm somewhere right, yep, 1, 0, 0. So this next one will be identical, so I'm going to have to skip down to here, to the 1, 0, 0, 0 line, and that's going to be 1, wait a second, let me make sure I'm staying on the right thing. So 1, 0, 0, 0, that's going to be 1, 0, 0, so, 0, okay. And then the next one will be 1, 0, 1, the next one will be 1, 1, 1, and then 1, 1, 0. The next one comes up to here now, so I'm going to have 0, 1, 0, and then this will be 0, 1, 1, and then this will be 0, 0, 1, and 0, 0, 0. So that completes that. Now I've translated these into K-maps, and my problem begins are really easy. So I've got that one, 
this set of four, and then I've got a loop here, and got this, and I've got this. So, the first thing I notice is basically everything is in a group of four, and also that my K maps, the circ my, my prime implicants don't share any adjacent cells, and they actually kind of have these every other pattern. Um, so, if you remember, um, XORs create checkerboard patterns. So this is kind of checkerboardish. So I'm going to basically assume that I've got two variables that are being XORed. And if, like, for example, I had XORed all three, four of these together, I would have, these would shift up and make um, a full checkerboard. But basically, I've got every other row, which is kind of checkerboardish. So I haven't XORed all the variables together, but I have XORed about two together. So let's just kind of look at the answer. Um, I've got this is B3 bar B2 or B3, B2 bar, and check it out. Uh, I've got an XOR. B3, XOR, B2. G1 is going to be um, B2. B1 bar, this is the zeros. I can fill that in really quick if that helps. and or b2 bar b1, so this is the b2 bar and b1. And then I've got g0 is equal to b1 bar b0, or b1 b0 bar. So this one is equal to b2 x or b1, and this is equal to b1 x or B0. So actually, um, a very simple way to express this is any of the G sub i's are equal to um, B sub i plus 1 x or B sub i. As you can see, this G1 is, that works, that works, that one works, and since there's no G, B sub i plus 1, this is just B3. So, um, for my circuit, I'm just basically going to have um, G3 is B3, and then I'm going to have, oh, probably, <laughs> my inputs come in on this side, and my outputs are on that side, and then I'm going to have B3, B2, going into an XOR together, so that's G2, and then B2 and B1 are going to go into an XOR together, for G1 and B0, oops, sorry, that's an XOR, and B1 will go into an XOR together for G0. And that is the 4-bit uh, gray code, uh, binary code, gray code converter, and you can just keep duplicating this all, all the way up to create your any, any number of bits, binary code to gray code.